to say thank you to these women who have paved the way with strength and courage seems nearly not enough. But we can always remember and pray for those who have served and continue to serve to preserve the gift of life and freedom. On behalf of the town of Grump, I thank all veterans and particularly on today, thank you each and every one of you are women veterans. Department of Veteran Affairs launched a call center designed only to receive and respond to questions from women veterans, their families, and their caregivers. The history book tells us great stories, great stories about women warriors. Unfortunately, in modern times and in the history of this nation, the sacrifices and services of women have not been adequately recognized. Oh, to all veterans, and to women in particular, demands nothing less than full attention and action. So on this day, and every day, I say to each woman veteran, Thank you for your service, and I salute you. Thank you. Our present speaker, United States Air Force Active Duty Master Sergeant Knight. <laughs> Esther McGowan Blake was the first woman in the United States Air Force. On July 8, 1948, she joined the first minute of the first hour of the first regular day duty was authorized for women. United States Army. <laughs> <laughs>